Robinhood has released a new product in which they claim to allow retail users the ability to purchase stocks at IPO prices via their app. And the first company to debut on this platform is Figs Inc. In this video, we look at Figs the company, its revenue sources, and determine whether or not Figs stock is a good long-term investment. You can jump straight to the stock analysis and my year-end price target with the timestamps in the description below. Let's get started. Figs is an American healthcare apparel company founded in 2013 by CEOs Trina Spear and Heather Hassan. Spear has an MBA from Harvard Business and worked as an associate within the Blackstone Group investment firm prior to meeting Heather Hassan, who had the original idea for medical scrubs and apparel company in the mold of Lululemon and other premium sports clothing brands like Nike. Figs has started to disrupt a stagnant market in healthcare apparel. They're growing market share aggressively and have established great brand recognition, which is driving further adoption. Their top products are fitted scrubs for both male and female medical practitioners that claim to be more fashionable and functional than traditional scrubs. Fix has been growing at an incredible rate, and it's what makes this stock worth looking at from an investment standpoint. The majority of Fix sales are actually performed through their own digital platform, while also being available on sites like Amazon. As of March, Fix has 1.5 million active users. Over the past two years, they have grown their user base an average of 100% year on year. The company is also already profitable, pulling in net revenues of $260 million, net income of $58 million, and adjusted EBITDA of $69 million in 2020. Net revenue grew 138% year on year from 2019 to 2020. The company looks to be positioned well with $20 million in free cash flow and increasing gross margins of 72%. Fix claims to have more opportunity to grow. According to an April 2021 Frost & Sullivan study, the healthcare apparel industry has a total addressable market of $12 billion in the U.S. and nearly $80 billion worldwide. In 2020, FIGS expanded to Australia, Canada, and the U.K. and planned for more international expansion to drive further growth. Increased marketing and expansion into leisure wear are also potential avenues for growth. The majority of revenue pulled in by FIGS stems from the 13 base scrub models that they offer. The remaining 18% is driven by limited edition releases that are meant to drive traffic back to the digital platform. Trina Spear and Heather Hassan believe Fig separates itself due to its brand and innovation, but they have suffered a couple missteps in the past. Most notably, they received a lot of flack for posting an ad in October of 2020 that seemed to insinuate women were stupid. They effectively insulted their core demographic and pushed away many people from their brand. Figs is also being sued by an incumbent in the industry. Charismatic Brands claims that Figs marketing is misleading and is looking to slow down their growth. There's also no doubt that the apparel market is highly competitive, and increasing competition may come from traditional healthcare apparel manufacturers or even companies like Nike and Under Armour. Figs will have to rely on brand recognition to maintain and grow market share in such a competitive market. That said, customer growth is still through the roof, and Figs seems to be the number one choice amongst younger medical practitioners. But is it worth buying at current valuations? As part of the Robinhood IPO, Figs plans to offer 22.5 million shares at a price of $22, raising up to $430 million and pricing it at around $3.6 billion in total market cap valuation. If we assume a 40% year-on-year growth rate in terms of EBITDA, and remember they increased by over 100% last year, and a 15x multiplier, which is slightly higher than the standard multiplier for the apparel industry, we get a year-end valuation of $4.5 billion in market cap and a year-end price target of $25. It will be interesting to see at what rate Figs maintains its user and revenue growth, but it has positioned itself well. As always, please do your own research before opening any position. I'm not a financial advisor, and these are just my opinions. I'm hesitant to open a large position in Figs as I don't see a hugely competitive moat outside of brand recognition. That said, I will be opening a small position to try out Robinhood's new IPO feature. For any larger investments, I intend to wait until after the IPO and may take advantage of any post-hype drops in price, and I'm hesitant to recommend buying through Robinhood IPO feature as shares are locked for 30 days. If you're interested in opening a Robinhood account and getting free stock, use the link in the description below. If you're interested in watching future videos on investing in the stock, crypto, and real estate markets, subscribe below. But most of all, thank you for your time, thank you for watching, and invest safe.